last time. Something tells me I'm actually approaching this the wrong way, but I don't know what to do instead. After the events of last video, it was heavily hinted to me that when Flowey uh, says, too bad you can't go back and change fate, he was actually daring me to do just that. I don't want to make a habit of this. I feel like it's important to own my own decisions and whatever happens in my playthrough. But part of the deal of this game is that it does things unconventionally, right? It messes with what is expected to happen. And given that, I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens. Also, during editing, I noticed there was a lot of, not a lot, but a few passages I didn't really go back and explore. Uh, once I met Toriel at the Black Tree, I just went into the house and we ate pie and it was awesome and I forgot. And then afterwards, I had just brutally beat down my goat mom and I didn't feel like exploring. So let's see if we can right those wrongs and as much as possible, continue on owning our decisions for the rest of the playthrough. Here we go. Okay, it knows what's going on. Okay, and Amos has already been shown, so it already knows uh, that I had played previously. Let's stick with it. Why not? That's a good question. I wonder if that matters if you come back as a different person. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll just take it, you know, face value. What's the worst that could happen? Flowey, except for you. I hate your guts. Howdy, Flowey. Flowey! Yeah, he said something different. It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! Yeah, sure. But of course, Toriel comes to our rescue. <sighs> Hi, Toriel. I missed you already. Well, I'm still filled with determination. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna overwrite that. Let's see what happens. Can I read this? No, just a sign. Okay. First thing that we're going to resolve in the past, that we're going back to change. Let's see if we can do this freaking dummy fight right. We're gonna actually talk to it. And now that I know how the menu system actually works. Here we go. Hi, dummy. Hello, dummy. Fight me. Okay. Let me check the dummy first. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. That's a fun description text. You talk to the dummy. Triple dot. It doesn't see much for conversation. Yeah, expectedly. Toriel seems happy with you. Aw, that makes me happy. Good. We still get no experience and no gold, but that's good. Ah, very good. You are very good. <laughs> it's not, it's not real though. All this is fake. Doesn't really count. <clears throat> I can solve it, Torio, but I know you're gonna help me out. <laughs> Torio comes and stares down like a boss. It will not let me through. That's interesting to note.
Now, here's an interesting question. What happens if I go to my menu and I use my cell phone first? What? How did I not know all this existed? Legit, I, I, okay, whatever. Hello? Torio? This is Torio. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. <laughs> I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Click. Ah, oh, this is great. I'm doing it again. About myself. About herself. Probably. This is Torio. <gasps> you want to know more about me? Yep, sure do. Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. <laughs> Click. I want to call her mom. Goat mom. This is Torio. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Oh, look at her face. Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. <laughs> That's great. <sighs> See, this is the thing. I didn't take the time to explore in this game. I feel like going back and looking at the edits, I'm rushing it. I just need to take the time to fully appreciate everything that's here. And, um, yeah. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. Oops, crap. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, Torio. <laughs> yeah, it changed. Look at that. I, that was completely by accident, I swear. You want to say hello again? Salutations! <laughs> Is that enough? I really don't want to bother Torio. But what happens if I do it again? Hello? Torio? Torio! This is Torio. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. Right, because we're doing what she told us to do. We're staying in the room. Uh, this is cool. Okay. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? That is great advice, Torio. Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Sure, Torio. We can definitely do that for you. All right. <laughs> with that... Let's immediately stop doing what she's gonna call us anyway. Hello? This is Toria. <laughs> no, certainly not. That is definitely not what we just did. I know, Toria. It would be dangerous, but we're gonna do it anyway because we're awesome. For the most part. Okay. Frog it! Frog it! Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. I don't think I talked to this guy the first time. I think when I walked around and I got attacked by a froggit, like randomly, because of a random encounter, I think I assumed it was this guy. I don't know! If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbon. Cool, okay. Let us fill ourselves with determination. Being a monarch in the leaves. Yes, Leaves, you will do my bidding, and you will like it. Oh wait, crap. See, this dude. It's easy, just compliment the frog, cause the frog's doing all right. He is cool. Hi frog, you're cool. You're a cool frog. Good, because I don't want to fight the frog either. Bye frog. Okay, I'll take, okay. To make it as close to the past as possible, we're gonna take multiple pieces of candy, even though it makes me a disgusting pig. <laughs> okay. Can I take more candy? Might as well, I mean, health items never hurt. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. You feel like this scum with, okay. I, I'm gonna get at. Oh, uh, I wanna take another one. What has come over me? This is great. <gasps> you took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Well, that should teach you, shouldn't it? Don't take the candy, you greedy pig. Okay. Uh... More froggets. Froggit. You're doing good, frog. You're doing good, and you're fabulous. Okay, what's he gonna do this time? Okay, this is easy. He just goes black. Good. Bye, frog. See ya, buddy. Let's go this way. 
Easy enough. Let's go right up the stairs. Yeah! Toriel. Hello, Toriel. I love cinnamon. Wait. Yeah, how'd you know? Hee <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Are, like, the people who come... Are they, like, past versions of me? Maybe? I don't know. This is weird. Or maybe there's supposed to be other players that we inhabit the same world, but not really. But narratively, yes? I don't know. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt... Like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Beats me, Toriel. <laughs> well, thank you for your selection. Click. Toriel, hi. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Thank you, Toriel. I already know you're gonna bake me a pie, but pies are good, so I still appreciate it. <sighs> yes, rocks. Whimson? No, more froggets. Okay. What you gonna do, frog? Your flies get away from me. Aw. Oh, I got too cocky. And random. Let's not do that. Let's see if I remember how to do this just for memory. What does this say? <laughs> I had to figure, I, you know, given this, oh no, I stopped paying attention. I should have known it was something like that, right? It's in the same place, and this game likes to mess with you, so of course it'd be something like that. Oh! Old Small! Yeah! Oh, his text is already yellow. Did I notice that in the past? I don't remember. It's just a slime. We can just walk away and it's fine. Ah, uh, you silly mold small. Okay. Crap. Did I do this right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I needed to go a little further over. Whimson! That's right, I missed you too, buddy. Okay, his, he's... Wow. I did not... I'm glad I noted to look for that now. Jeez. Ah... Uh... Wait, I didn't check. Does it give me gold still for the encounter? I don't know. Last time, I don't think he gave me any, so... I'm just gonna imitate it, because lying immobile with Mold Small is fun. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Mold Small! Got one gold. Better than zero golds. There we go. Come on, yo. Ah. Oh, his, his, uh, collision box is kind of weird. Yeah, Rock, I'm gonna need you to get on that plate, yo. Okay? I know you're just gonna mess it up, but that's okay. I am gonna be patient with you. Just like everyone has to be patient with me. Yes, it was, Rock. Get back on the path, please. Good job, Rock. Now stay. Ah, Rock! Whoa! Lots of mold smalls. I didn't know this was possible. <laughs> huh. I imagine, though, even if I just... Oh, no, they all go away. Good. Because <laughs> I was going to be like, if I did anything else, they'd probably all make their slime happen. And that would be tough to deal with. But, meanwhile, Rock, please, please stay on the pressure plate. That'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Mouse and the cheese. Determination. Yes! Cheese. Mouse. You go, mouse. Naps to Bluke! Ah, uh, yeah. Even though it was like only, what, two episodes ago. I feel like I'm like running into a bunch of old friends. This is great. Ah, uh, ghost. Come on, ghost. Let's figure this out, yo. Hi! Naps to Bluke! Just immediately. We know how to deal with this. Just make sure he doesn't cry on you. No, he cried on me. Oh well. J 
cheer him up. It's okay, Nastabluk. You'll be fine. We get to enjoy the music, too. This is a great tune. Whoa, different tiers. I don't think I saw this one before. This is cool. I love it. Nastabluk looks just a little bit better. That's good. Cheer him up again. Nastabluk, here's a joke. Are tiers smaller? I think some of them are. I do not take my word for it. Please, just don't. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we still have to try. Yay, Nasta Bluke. Cheer him up again. There we go. Yep, the hat. Let's go. Dude, that is a pretty cool trick. That is a pretty cool trick. I love it. Bye, Nasty Blue. Okay. All the frogs. Might as well talk to them anyway, just in case they're tracking that. Because let's be real. They might be. <gasps> no! I did it wrong! I skipped his words! Of course, I should have remembered that. Like pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. But we can do it the right way. If we interrupt him the first time, we can at least give him another chance to say what he had to say. So that's good. Ah, yes, the four frogs for going full screen. Hm. I'm probably not going to even use this. This is another one. I wonder if we had started killing people immediately, would he have said... You're quite merciful for a human. That's probably why he's telling us this. Or like he used those exact words. Um, that's the thing. It's like most of the things are the same. But then there's small divergences based on things that happen. Oh. <laughs> ah, this is the best cockroach ever. I assume that's what he is. Bye! Toriel! Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. Oh yeah. Cool. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the switch is in here, but I want to help Naps to Bluke out. He fell down in the other hole. Luke's. Don't pick on. Easy enough. He's gonna dodge the dealies, and we're good. Yeah, Luke's. Glad you're fine with that. Bye. <laughs> oh, I did it wrong. Oh, it's okay. We can always go back there after you flip the switch. Nothing says that we have to, you know, flip the switch and immediately go out of the room. Let's help out our ghost pal. Hey, ghost pal. I fell down a hole and now I can't get up. Nasty Blue, you silly, silly, silly ghost. There you go. All right. And we might as well meet up with Vegetoid too. Let's see if we can do this right and only get his green thing. Vegetoid. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on, pay attention. Endel, come on. God. Okay. I want dinner! Vegetoid, can you help me out with that? <gasps> no, come here! Ah! I'm the worst! I'm the worst! Okay. Apparently we have to actually catch- Good job! He liked that. Good job, Vegetoid. Okay.
No! Just to be safe, I think it's time we ate one of our multiple monster ca Oh shoot, I got four of them. <sighs> okay, good. 10 HP, that should be enough to keep us going, right? I mean, that sounds about reasonable. It's red next, right? Yeah. Seemed remembering this pretty okay. All right. Big Osp, you guys, stop, please. Correctly, it's the green switch. Yes, green switch. Okay. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we went up last time. No, wait, no. This is the spider bake sale, right? Spider bake sale. No, this. I think this is new. What? Ribbit, ribbit. Guess between you and me. I saw Toriel come out here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Well. Whoa. Man, I wish I'd come here before. Look at that. Dude, man, ruins is right. Check out how big this place is. Dang. Also, what's this? You found the toy knife. Toy knife, what does... All right. No, that's my stats. Let's go to my items. Toy knife, what does that mean? I put toy knife, okay, but no, can I see it? All right, so I have to actually... I'm gonna put it through a stick away, then picked it back. <laughs> okay. Huh. I wanted to see the flavor text for the toy knife, but oh well. That is so bad. Well, I have a knife now, that's cool. Not that I'm hopefully gonna get much use out of it. What's up here? Oh, the spider bake sale's all the way back here. I might as well get it. All right, I wonder just how much gold I've accumulated this time. Let's see if I have enough for whatever else this was. 37, <laughs> that's quite a bit more. Some spiders crawl down and give you a jug. Oh, I bet this is spider cider, right? I don't know. Ah, come on. Yep, spider cider. Look at that. Info. There we go. Spider cider. Heals 24 HP. Made with... Again, why would the spiders be making cider out of spiders? That's That seems a little cannibalistic to me. But I'm not going to judge. Spiders, you do your thing, man. You do your thing. That makes me less likely to... Uh, I don't know. I'll think twice about any future spider bake sales that I consider participating in. Whoa. There's a lot of guys. Hmm. Okay. I think... 
I'm gonna try to take care of... Okay, so like, I want to try to catch Vegetoid's green thing, but I'm worried that the projectiles from the other monsters might make this a little difficult. So, I'm gonna try the Lukes first. Yeah, this is tough. Wow, that's actually easier than I was expecting to. But, we can make Lukes go away. That's good. So now, we sort of keep dodging these guys. Dude, I got good! How? <laughs> okay. So now, Vegetoid, we should be able to use the dinner option to accept his green projectile. His green vegetables. Green. Yes. Mmm. Oh. Darn it. So now... Yeah! There we go! That actually went pretty well. We did it. See you guys. Alright, what could possibly be up here? Hmm. Okay, let's go meet up with Toriel now. And let's explore the house some more, because I'm sure there's stuff we missed in there. <sighs> oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. What's up, Toriel? <gasps> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A little bit. There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Yeah, let's go! Pie! I want the pie! Let me see that. Determination. The best. Let's go inside. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Oh man. I wish. I wish. God, okay. Another surprise. My own room! Yeah! <laughs> Still so sweet. <gasps> oh no, you forgot about your pie! You forgot about your pie! This time I'm not going to sleep. I want to see what happens if I go directly to the kitchen. Shay's raiding and stuff. Hi, Toriel! Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Oh, so I, I had to do that. Maybe? No. You'd rather stay up and chat with me? Yep, sure would. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books that I want to share. There we go. Okay, so now we're doing this. Bug hunting spots, yeah. I hate that option so much. Okay. <laughs> Will do, Toriel. Um, meanwhile, let's see. Is there anywhere else we can explore? Not downstairs. Screw downstairs. Let's go this way. I already know I don't know anything about plants. Oh, wait, is this Toriel's room? Because, like, let me see. This one on the. Yeah, this one down here said it was closed, right? Room under renovations, yeah. So, I mean, this is the only other room in the house. What do we have here? What's, it's Toriel's diary. Might as well. Yes. You read the passage. <laughs> Why did this skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh, is everyone into terrible jokes? Is ever? I swear, everyone is actually into the worst kind of jokes down here. <laughs> oh my God. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Good job, Toriel. You're a jokester. It's probably the same thing. Wait, you know, might as well. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, okay, same thing, same thing. Okay, good, 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 good. Very good, fantastic, wonderful, amazing. What else is in here? Can I, can I see? Definitely bigger than twin size bed. Because Toriel is bigger than twins, I guess. <laughs> it's an encyclopedia. <gasps> what? Does this, is this gonna tell me what those plants are? That is cool, if that's the case. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more commonly water sausages. Is there another one? No, same, same one, same one. 
I'm gonna like check everything guys at least twice. You're gonna have to live with that now cuz Oh, I did not mean to I did not mean to game shut up shut up <sighs> I hate you game so much I, I guess a cactus qualifies as that. I guess. What is this plant? Tutorial likes plants. Is there, um... No, I thought I could maybe look at that. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. Thank you. Anything else in here? What's in the waste basket? Just a regular old bucket of snails. That's a regular bucket indeed. So now, is this, is this Typha? Oh, it's a water sausage. Look at that. I learned some stuff. I learned some stuff from Toriel just by looking at her books. I'm amazing. Kind of. Oh, that's right. That's where the calendar is. So, can I go outside? Does anything change out here? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just a bunch of frogs around here, right? Hi, frog it. Rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> I know Toriel came through here. Okay. Sweet. So, I mean, we might as well take a nap now. And then eat pie. And then make other stuff happen, possibly. And we gotta face our fate. <laughs> it's been nice pretending we can run from it. But... I wonder. Let's try to do whatever we can to stay here as long as possible. A slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That is the best stuff. That is the best stuff. Now I wonder, since we talked to her earlier, I wonder if she has more to say. Hi, Toriel. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? Yes. The snails, right? Yeah, 72 uses for snails. I would love to hear about it. An exciting snail fact, guys. Snails can flip their digestive systems whenever they... What? Snails make terrible shoelaces? There's different snail facts. That's so nice. They make terrible shoelaces. Yeah, I would imagine that if you get in a situation where you're trying to use snails as shoelaces, you're pretty screwed anyway, so... Nothing. Nothing, Toriel. I'll be fine. I wonder if there's different history books. No, trapped behind the barrier! Yeah, I know. It's just about how they found home. Which they named home. <laughs> which I still love. Uh, let's save here. This is great. Okay. So. So. I wonder. I can go down here. And Toriel will come down and make sure I don't. I wonder what happens if I come down here again. Hey. <laughs> it is dangerous to play here. But I want to play downstairs, mommy. It is drafty here. You will catch a cold. I love how she doesn't tell me anything. Just vague. It's not a good idea. It's dusty here. You will catch a cough. There are so many problems with your basement, Toriel. Let's see if we can come up with any more. There is nothing to see here. Sure. Do you want to read a book? Will she take us to read a book? Can, can, can I read a book? Because I would like to do that. I wonder if... I mean, probably not, but you never know. Can I read a book, Toriel? What is it? Okay, so I guess not. Can I keep going downstairs? Because as perverse as it is, I kind of like this. Just making Toriel run down here. I do not like the- oh, she changed up her tone on me. Look, she is not happy. I do not like the game you're playing. Well, it looks like we can continue to push this envelope. This is cool. Why not go for a walk in the yard? I already tried that, Toriel. There's just frogs out there. Really now? Really now? <laughs> uh. 
What is that face? I'm just in a really rebellious mood right now. <laughs> She's just looking at me weird. I think I right I think I think I reached the end. Yeah, I mean if I was Troy, I'd probably be like, this kid just keeps on walking down there. What the heck is his problem? Toriel, I have a question. How do I exit the ruins? We're gonna try several things. I'm gonna go in the kitchen while she's in there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Gingerbread monsters. Okay, you know, um, okay. Uh, no, it is. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. That doesn't sound like a good plan. I can't put my hand inside fire? No, guess not. Okay, uh, that's kind of weird. Oh, because Toriel's probably controlling this fire with her fire magic. It's not probably actually burning wood at all. Which explains why it went out when I came back last time. She wasn't there to make it fire magic anymore. But, speaking of that... Hi, Toriel. Yeah, I do. I know. I don't think I can. I would not put it past the game, though. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm going back, I'm back upstairs. I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna read a history book. Tori, are you done destroying all the exits now? Probably. Probably not. I I really don't think there's anything we can do about this. Oh wait, shoot, no. Oh oh no. Oh god, what happened? Okay, thank goodness. There we go. We're back. Torio. I know. They all die. <sighs> okay, now here's the thing. I wonder if I can go to my room now. Let's try taking a nap and see what happens. I'm curious, guys. I'm sorry. I'm curious. This game warrants exploration. I'm exploring. You got a problem with that? I'm sorry. I don't know what to expect now. No, I don't think that did anything. I don't think that did anything. What else am I expecting though? Okay, no, none of that is look edible. Meanwhile, let's go back to Toriel. Hi, Toriel. Around here somewhere. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel! I want to leave. But I don't... Don't want to. I don't want to fight you. Wait, what? Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? This, yeah, this is what they were talking about. Okay, fine. Fine! Like you've seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No. That's impossible. Well, it doesn't make a slight bit of difference, apparently. Torio blocks the way. I'm not gonna fight you if I can help it. This is what I did last time, right? I checked, checked first. Knows best, but yeah, I know you do, Toriel. But I also know how to dodge your attacks. Haha! -ha. I wonder what they all do. Can I? I threw the stick away. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Nope, that did not go so well. 
Tutorial, can we talk about this? What? You thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. But, that's creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. That might cause further problems. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? Can we? Must be helpful text. Well, this is a different one. I've never seen this one before. No, it's just hurting me bad. Can I- did I try this before? I escaped! Wait, that is right. Go upstairs. That did nothing! That actually did nothing! Toriel, I have to leave, but I don't- I don't want to kill you. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? I don't know, Toriel. I- I'm kind of- I'm kind of stubborn. I'm sorry. Okay, it's the same same thing. Dang it! Okay, so. Whoa, whoa, okay. What happens if I try to talk to her again? Same thing. Can I can you show mercy without running away? That's a good question. I suppose. Whoa, there we go. Oh man, no, I thought I beat it. Ah, okay. I'm not gonna fight you. What do you think of that, Toriel? Oh, ow, go, God. Okay, concentrate on dodging. Quad billion dots. Yeah, that's what I thought. My theory is like when you get low on health, that's probably what triggers her not wanting to hurt you. See, she doesn't want to kill you. I didn't want to kill her either. And so I thought that it would be a thing where just making her go down low enough would say, oh, you have proven yourself, my child. You are definitely strong enough to go out there and not have them have you for dinner or whatever. Asgore, he's not gonna eat your soul or whatever. But um, no, no, that's not what happened. I thought it was a test. It was actually a fight to the death. And that's not fair. That is actually not fair because it's not. Toy, we can do this all day. I'm not fighting you, that's what I'm doing. I'm defying the rules of everything. I'm not gonna play this game by the rules of the game. I'm proving that you suck or something like that. That's actually a good point. By continually not I'm proving that I'm strong enough, like my moral character is strong enough to survive. Plays on words. That seems to be this game's forte. Now that's interesting. That kind of raises a uh, contrast with all the puns. Puns are like silly, casual, humorous plays on words, but then there's some actual serious ones like different kinds of strength and different I know, I don't know. Well, uh, that's cool. Let's hold on to that. We'll think about that. Okay. Go away? I wish. Toriel, you go away. Get out of the way of the door. No one has to get hurt. I don't think I can do this. Wait, she's talking to me now, though. She wasn't before. Remember, she said, like, um, what was it? When I tried to talk, ironically, talk will not get you out of the situation or something. Or it's not the solution. But now she's talking. How is- how is I supposed to tell that? Oh well. Are her eyebrows changing? I think her eyebrows are changing. I don't know. I know you want to go home, but... Yes! Yes! I wasn't sure it was gonna work. I was just gonna sit there for hours just because I was gonna spite the game. But I appreciate that. Oh, come on! I thought we had it! Go upstairs. Now. Tori Hell. Goat Mom, please. Please. Just please. I promise I will take good care of you. I know you would, Toriel. But I I got a family. I, I gotta go back home. I gotta make it through the underworld. I 
I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. Oh, she's so sad. It's okay. Ha. <laughs> pathetic, is it not? Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. <sighs> I cannot save even a single child. You're good, too. You did your best. It's gonna be fine. I promise. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations. My loneliness. My fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Yes. If you truly wish to leave... Blah. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Fair enough. Fair enough, Toriel. Oh, Big ol' hug. Goodbye, my child. Bye, Toriel. Now, now we can go on deeper, deeper into the underworld and deal with Sans and Papyrus and all our friends. <laughs> uh, except for you, Flowey, you're still a huge jerk. He knows. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? Well, not really. Actually, I will be the first in line to admit that I'm actually kind of stupid. In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. Oh, shoot. You murdered her. And then you went back because you regretted it. I'm not going to say you're wrong, Flowey, but screw you. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you're the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world. Purely by your own determination. Oh, determination. I should have known by now that that's not a coincidence that keeps coming up. The ability to play God. Right, that always pops up when we save, doesn't it? The ability to... Save. I thought I was dealing with that. What's a flower doing with the ability to save? That's that's some baloney right there. That is some grade A weapons level baloney. But, but, I can't save anymore. I'm happy. You shouldn't be able to save. You're, you're a freaking flower. That's all I gotta say. Apparently your desires for this world override mine. That's right, I've got more determination. All you do is go crinkle in some leaves. I'm sure you'll, that, that'll, that'll work. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. Given everything we know about this game so far, I would not be surprised if this is foreshadowing. They're gonna pull something. Toby, I'm on to you. Not really. I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'll be watching. You evil son of a gun. Get out of here, Flowey. Before I break my pacifist rule and kick your butt. Because if I meet him, if I have the chance... I'm making it my promise to Toriel that I'm going to be good, alright? But, it's going to be really tempting! Because he's evil. He's straight up evil. And, if I may be so presumptuous, I think the world would be better off without that freaking flower. But, who am I? Who am I? <sighs> I 
and try to make something as quickly as we possibly can. What if I go backwards? I'm kinda curious. Hello? Hello? What? Okay. Never mind. That was weird. I thought I was I couldn't backtrack. I wonder what I might find. No, nothing. Can, can I actually go back through? What happens? Oh, no, I can't. Uh, is it it's like sealed or something? Man. Well, not that I really needed to. It's fine. I love this guy. God dang it, Sans. Yeah, it's confirmed. I'm level one. Because apparently... Beating Torio gives you a lot of levels. Or a lot of love? Which LV is supposed to stand for? Seems counterintuitive. If you ask me. That's a good point, man. Because, like, you get XP, I presume, for damaging people and defeating them. How does that increase your love? I don't know. I would assume, though, they're playing with that somewhere. We'll see what happens. But for now, I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for uh, going back and messing around with the past. But overall, I'm glad we did it because there's, first of all, some cool moments we missed that we could have found by exploring. But also, it's interesting to see how people react to me seeing it for the second time. That's kind of cool. A lot of interesting interactions there. So next time... We'll keep going on this for real. And I... Yeah. I'm going to commit to it. No matter what happens, we're just going to keep going and ride out the wave of our choices. Because it's a good thing to do. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you again next time.